My name is Melissa. I'm a visual artist and a community engagement practitioner. I was born in Guyana, in South America, and I came to England with my mum, my sister and my brother when I was four. We moved to White City and yeah, I grew up on White City Estate. I first discovered myself as an artist when I was in primary school. Yeah, I just love to paint, I love to draw, I love to create. My current creative process, I don't quite know how to describe it because for me it comes from God. I sit in front of a canvas and I have paints around me and then I just start creating and I don't know where it's going to lead. Sometimes I have a plan in mind and it goes completely off that plan. So I discover as I paint. I am very excited about having my artwork exhibited in my Authenticity exhibition at Westfield London. I really wanted to see the art in somewhere that's familiar and it be accessible to everyone. My exhibition is called Authenticity because I wanted to do something authentic to myself and where I grew up, which is White City and we refer to it as city, so it's a play on words. Growing up in White City in the 90s was such an amazing, just a vibrant vibe. I really wanted to find a way to express that feeling through art and to share that joy, that fun, that feeling like anything and everything is possible. My block, that one means so much to me. It inspired the whole exhibition. So my block gives me a feeling of warmth. It gives me a feeling of home. It just feels like family. It feels like celebrations. It's Christmases, it's birthdays, it's um, watching fireworks, it's summer times. It's just, all warm memories of everyone that's ever visited uh, my home. I really wanted to celebrate that space because it meant so much to me growing up there and growing up in that warmth. And if you look at the colours, White City does not look like that and it didn't look like that in the 90s. But when I look at the colours and I see that block, I see vibrancy. I don't see a grey brick building. I see reds and yellows and blues. So that is my look. 90s girls. I'm a 90s girl. So 90s girl is based on a photograph that was taken in the 90s. It was 95 and it was taken of me and my friends when we were on our way to a Method Man concert. We were at Shepherd's Bush Station that's now called Shepherd's Bush Market Station and we took that photo on the platform. It just takes me back to probably one of the most fun periods of my life. I did the train tracks as my favourite 90s tracks and it tells a story. So it's also a, it's a letter to the 90s girls. I'm excited about that one because only one of my friends knows that that painting exists. So it's going to be a big surprise for the rest of them. <laughs> I want them to feel appreciated and acknowledged. I'm so thankful to God for all of my 90s girls and I hope other people who grew up in the 90s or have a love of 90s hip hop especially, have some fun with that one. City. That one is just full of energy and it takes us from May down to Carnival Weekend. And I wanted to do something that had maybe a bit of the fun fair in there or a bit of an all dayer in there on the green, you know, a bit of Shepherd's Bush Market and all of the fruits and the, you have the 
the changes of the seasons and the colours get more vibrant as we journey through the painting down to the bottom where it's just a massive celebration. QPR. So QPR, Queen's Park Rangers, is a football club that is on White City Estate. As young black children, we weren't allowed out when QPR were playing. I'd sit in my bedroom and look out of my window onto South Africa Road and see all the football fans coming and going. So for me, it was a very still time where you had to stay inside. But we do love QPR. My mum is a big QPR fan. I couldn't celebrate White City and the community and the landmarks without showing QPR and my primary school, Ellerslie, that was next door to it. Rena. Rena is a portrait of my mum. I really wanted to do something that would celebrate the older people in our community and show them as art and show them as beauty. I love painting older faces because there's so much to to do and see and to really get excited about. I chose to use my mum to represent an older person and she didn't know I was doing the painting. I got to see my mum in a way that I haven't seen her before because I studied every inch of her, of her face. Oh! The Rena Initiative is a social enterprise that I founded in 2019 to recognize, empower, and nurture artists. One of our main objectives is to establish free visual arts programs in disadvantaged communities worldwide. The WOWC is the first arts program that has been established by the Rena Initiative and it stands for the Women of White City. The WOWC began in summer 2019 on White City Estate. It's really about art for mental health and well-being, where women can come together and be self-expressed through visual art. The last vitrine features Picasso-style self-portraits by the WOWC. An amazing, vibrant collection that celebrates these women and their characters and their, their joyfulness and their inclusivity and their empowerment and support and love for each other. As a self-taught artist who did not grow up with connections in the art world and had no idea how to get my art out there to be seen by the public. I really want to make sure that every time I have an opportunity, I create an opportunity for other people. So the WOW see having their work in my authenticity exhibition is part of me sharing and really creating opportunities for others. I would like my legacy to be a world where everyone is valued, connected and empowered. You can connect with me by visiting my website, malizia.com. You can also connect through therenainitiative.com and you can follow me on Instagram at malizia.